Generation 1 Transformer Review, Decepticon Long Haul. Before we get into the review of the actual action figure itself, let's take a look at Long Haul's tech spec. Function, transport. Quote, a battlefront is only as good as its supply line. Long Haul is unhappy with his unglamorous role, but understands its importance. He's willing to help build the Decepticon's massive energy recovery installations. As a vehicle, he can carry 90 tons for 1,200 miles. Long Haul uses a dual heat-seeking missile mount. As the torso module, Long Haul combines with his fellow Constructicons to form the giant robot Devastator. Long Haul can be goaded into a fight in which he's overmatched. Long Haul is rated a 9 in strength, a 5 in intelligence, a 2 in speed, a 9 in endurance, a 4 in rank, an 8 in courage, a 7 in firepower, and a 4 in skill. This gives Long Haul an overall rating of 6.0. Okay, it's time for the official review of the Generation 1 Long Haul action figure. Before we get started, I'd like to show you what you get when you purchase Generation 1 Long Haul. He is one of the Constructicons, and I purchased him in the Devastator set, so he came with all five other Constructicons as well. Now, let's see what you get. I have to pan down, so you're going to lose a little bit of the box there, but I need to fit everything else in the frame. Okay, you get the red decoder strip to look at the tech spec on the back of the box you get the Constructicon set sticker sheet that has all six Constructicon stickers on it this particular one here is for long haul you get this enormous instruction manual that has all the Constructicon's transformations plus on the other side how to turn the Constructicon's into Devastator it has its own one right here for long haul and you see transformation from dump truck into robot form okay you also get this really nice box here that has devastator there all six of the constructor cons you see there's long haul he would be in the middle right big space battle on the back Constructicons on the side there with Devastator on all four edges of the box. And then Devastator's tech spec with six robot points. Okay, you also get these two pieces here that are for Devastator. It would be his chest. And you get this little green laser that is Long Haul's weapon. Okay, let's bring out Long Haul. Here he is. Typical Constructicon, easy to transform, probably the easiest and my favorite to transform. Looks really good, has nice stickers, some articulation on his arms and his legs, which is nice. The back does move up and down. Overall, very, very nice bot. Okay, his green laser will go in either right or left hand. We're going to put it in his right. And you see, there he is. Decepticon logo on his chest, rub symbol on his left foot. We'll set him down here and come in for the close view. As I said, I really like him. Long haul is one of my favorite looking of the Constructicons in robot form. We'll turn him around. See him from the back. The other side. And now the front. His face definitely looks like long haul from the Generation 1 cartoon. Okay, as I said earlier, he does turn into a dump truck. To do that, you're just going to take out the pistol out of his right arm. You're going to turn his fists in. And then push his arms in. Put his head down, flip the top up. Flip the back. Well, might be harder than I thought. Flip the back in. There we go. And then snap him And there we go. And you see Long Haul now in dump truck mode. Very nice looking dump truck. 
Now, if you really want to get fancy, you can connect these pieces here and put them in the back. You see it slides in there. There's a little hole. I'm not even going to waste time doing that because I never put this on here. It's just not G1 cartoon enough for me. I prefer him in his natural dump truck form. Now, if you look at him in dump truck form, you'll see on the bottom there it says 19, 1984, 1980, 1984 Hasbro, 19, 1984. He has dual wheels in the back and two wheels up front. So six wheels on him. They are plastic. I wish it would have been rubber. He would roll a lot nicer that way. You see some stickers in the back. There's his rub symbol again, Decepticon logo on the front. And I'll show you how he rolls. He does roll. Like I said, he would roll a heck of a lot nicer if he had rubber wheels. But not bad for a combiner. We'll come in close, and you can see what he looks like from the front. Definitely a good representation of a dump truck. The back of the dump truck does go up, so that's really fun to play with. It's a little kid, you could play like it's a little Tonka truck or something. From the back, from the side, and from the front. Okay, that concludes my review of the Generation 1 Constructicon long haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned so you can hear my final thoughts and the pros and the cons that I gave to Generation 1 Long Haul. Okay, it's time for the final thoughts on the Generation 1 Long Haul toy. As far as pros go, I'd like to start off by saying that Long Haul looks like his Generation 1 cartoon counterpart. And anytime you have a toy that looks like its cartoon counterpart, that's a huge pro. Long Haul, much like all of the Constructicons, fits into that category. I think Long Haul looks nice in the dump truck mode. And he has nice dump truck articulation. The back of the dump truck will move up and down, so you could actually play with it in the dirt if you want in your backyard, which I'm sure a lot of the original G1 uh, fans like myself did as a kid. I also like that Long Haul is extremely easy to transform. It's just a couple simple steps from transforming him from robot into dump truck and vice versa. And I also want to say that I like that Long Haul has six wheels instead of only four. Now, they are plastic wheels that would have been nicer that have been rubber, but he does have six, which gives him some extra support and lets him roll really nicely. Now, as far as cons go with Long Haul, I don't really have many. I just want to say that he does come with a lot of loose pieces that are extremely easy to lose. For instance, when you're not forming Devastator, it's very easy to lose his add-on pieces. When I was a kid, I was given Devastator or Constructicons individually as gifts for maybe a three to four month period. So by the time I accumulated all six Constructicons, I had lost the pieces to make Devastator. Therefore, I was stuck with six Constructicons, which were nice robots and construction vehicles. However, I was never able to form Devastator because I lost all of the pieces. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Generation 1 long haul action figure. Please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really am trying to get a large fan base, so if you would subscribe and pass it on to your Generation 1 fan friends, uh, that would be awesome. Or at least become my friend on YouTube or post a comment, because I really like any kind of responses I get from all of you. Thank you.